take a look at the volume. Super low. All right. Thank you, Lord, for making sure we check that. And when the barbarians saw the venomous beast hang on his hand, they said among themselves, no doubt this man is a murderer, whom though he have escaped to see, yet vengeance suffereth not to live. As he shook off the snake into the fire, he didn't feel any harm. And they started looking uh, that he should be swollen and that he should uh, be falling down dead suddenly. But after they had looked for quite some time and they didn't see anything happening to him, they changed their minds and said, he was a god in the same quarters where possessions of the, of the chief man of the island, whose name was Publius, who received us and lodged us three days courteously. And it came to pass that the father of Publius, interesting, lay sick uh, of a fever because you know, it kind of looks like Publix anyway. Lay sick with a fever and of the bloody flux, to whom Paul entered and prayed and laid his hands on him, and he healed them. So when he was done, others also which had diseases on the island came and were healed, who also honored us many honors when we departed. They lauded us with such things as were necessary, so they gave him everything that he needed. And after three months, we departed the ship of Alexandria, which had wintered in the isle, whose sign was Castor and Pulox. Again, interesting. If you put Pulox and the other together, you do get Publix. And landing at Syracuse, we tarried there, just never mind me, three days. And from thence, we fetched a compass and came to Reg 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 Regium. And after one day, the south wind blew, and we came the next day to Puteli, who T Oli, Puteli. Who knows how you pronounce that? All right, so let's move on to the um, Revelation study. Hang on just a quick second. Continuing on Re Revelation 12. And his tail drew a third part of the stars of heaven and did cast them to the earth. So this will be the fallen angels. Again, very much abstract figure to speech all throughout Revelation. That's why this is our 14th study. We're always learning new stuff. But... You won't find this book broken down better by anybody else on this earth than you will right here. Put me to the test and then show me who does it better. I will watch the video, uh, read the website, whatever. Um, but no, that's because the Holy Spirit has handed it to me on a silver platter. It's not because I'm smart and it's not by any hard work on my part. It's a calling. It's grace. It's favor. It's given. It's not earned. So the dragon stood before the woman, which was ready to be delivered for to devour her child as soon as it was born. Jesus, she brought forth a man child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron. And her child was caught up unto God to his throne. <laughs> and the woman fled into the wilderness. And again, now this is the remnant. It now shifts to um, the bride of Christ, the church, because that's how Jesus was born through the bloodline or the church or through the bride. Mary, of course, a member of the church. That they should feed her there a thousand two hundred and three score days. This, I do believe, is God's wrath. If it is the great tribulation, don't forget that Jesus said he cuts those days short and there was a war in heaven michael and his angels fought against the dragon and the dragon fought and his angels and prevailed not neither were there a place found of for them in heaven anymore and the great dragon was cast out that old serpent called the devil and satan which deceiveth the whole earth and was cast into the earth and his angels were cast with him and I heard a loud voice saying in heaven now has come salvation to strengthen the kingdom of our god and power of his christ for the accuser of his brethren is cast down which accused them before our God day and night. And they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they love not their lives until death. That goes with Luke 14, 26. You must hate your mother, your father, your, your children, your grandchildren, your friends, 
um, even your own life to be his disciple. It's not an emotional hatred. You don't emotionally hate yourself or your family members, but you have to hate on them when they are in those damnable sins of Galatians 5, 19 through 21. I'm glad you're here. I love you very much. Ask questions anytime. That's what I'm here for.